up guys, Matt Air Acoustic Selection. I want to go over how I got better at guitar. And to start maybe a new segment, I can give different tips. If you know me, my, my goal is to get as many people as possible playing this great instrument. And I want my my thing is getting people from ground floor to here. Now to get from here to more advanced, that's probably not my thing, that's other channels. But I love finding people who think they can probably never play this great instrument and, and showing them that, that they can and they can do it with a few simple chords, so many praise and worship songs, country songs, whatever you like to learn. Um, one of the things that helped me so much, I say all the time, strumming's about timing. When I quit playing so much songs as far as trying to change the chord over the word and learn to just listen for the rhythm and the timing, of that so for example on that song it's going C G D E minor and two beats per chord Amazing grace how sweet the sound He was singing over me I once was lost but now I'm found So that right there when I learned instead of just Amazing Grace how sweet I used to try to think I would look at these chord sites and I would try to change my chord on the lyric and that really threw me off so learning that timing how much timing how many beats per chord one of the best things helped me out learning the simple chords obviously helped me instead of going I used to when I started out going G to that C took me forever and I'd be like I heard an old old story have a savior and I couldn't I just couldn't get there uh, but when I learned to go straight that C add 9, sounds very similar. People can't tell a difference unless you're really advanced. And uh, it, it helped my guitar skills to kind of take off there. Uh, also, going back to the timing thing, learning to do the hammer on. So, on the, again, my same song. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. So, right there, am I, as I'm going to that D, I'm playing the bottom four strings. I'm keeping these two locked, and I'm. And I'm pressing that first finger on that third string. It makes two sounds. So, amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Hear it singing. And same thing on the hammer on. I go to the E minor and go hammer on the fifth, which is open and press the fifth, second fret, then fourth. So, fifth string hammer, four string hammer. So, amazing grace, how sweet the sound. He was singing over me. So, hammer on, hammer on, then play the fourth open. And what it is, that hammer on is replacing that second count of the of the of the timing. So you can see, I could go. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. He was singing over me. I could do two strums there. Start back over. I once was lost, but now. Or you could go one strum of the E minor and then and add that hammer on instead of replacing the second. Those little things, when I learned to kind of move within the chords, it really helped advance my playing. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. He's singing over me. I once was lost, but now I'm. Lingering on that D chord, linger and take my middle finger off and on that bottom string and hammer on the third. Lingering on the D chord is so key. You're kind of waiting. And chords in general, that hammer on helped me so much because it allowed me to, a lot of times I, I struggled if I had to stay on the same chord for a while. So if a, chord, if a song required me to sit on a chord, it was for some reason it was difficult for me. Now, if I'm doing those hammer-ons, it's a little easier. I'm even, on the G, Sometimes I'll hammer on both strings. And 
I highly, let me give you my last tip. I highly recommend for a little while, don't play songs. Just get your guitar and see how you can play around. With those four chords. right there just just messing around with those four chords work on hammer-ons uh, palm mutes down strums down ups I gotta get back to work, channelacousticselection.com, more videos like this. Um, like I said, I'm nothing advanced, but I want to take what I have and, and be a blessing to others. And um, let me give you a quick scripture I just read this morning that I hope can challenge you as it has me. Talk from Matthew, verse, uh, Matthew chapter 8. The leopard said, um, and behold, a leper came and worshipped Jesus and said, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Jesus put out his hand, touched him, and said, I am willing be cleansed. Jesus said, I am willing. Jesus says that to you today also. I am willing. What is it that you need to surrender to Jesus in your life? What is it I need to surrender that Jesus is sitting there saying, I'm willing. I'm willing to help you with that addiction. I'm willing to help you with that uh, unforgiveness, that bitterness in your heart, that resentment. I am willing. The question is, are you and I willing to surrender to Jesus? He's already paid it, our debt on the cross. He's given us the grace, mercy, love, peace, truth, joy that we need to live this great life. Are you willing to surrender, to take on a posture that relies on him instead of our own will and our own, our own self-worth? I love that. Read that for yourself. Matthew chapter 8, first part of chapter 8. Go check out AcousticSelection.com. God is good. I can get back to work. God bless you.